You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. So you don't know. Your boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all, man. So y'all know what it is by now. Take some time out, bless up your boy, like up the video. Definitely help the channel out, cause you know everybody gonna always keep you up to date on everything in the 2K community. You know we gotta start the video off the right way by giving a huge shout out to the Brew Squad. Anyone y'all got their notification bell unlocked? Come to the comment section, type first, second, third. Know the gang of Brew Squad. I gotta put y'all up there. Just to show y'all some love, y'all. Much love, much respect. Now, it was a busy day in the 2K community yesterday. They had a few wagers. I think Ticino, the main one was Ticino versus IQ Container. He got swept. But we're not going to talk about that, man. I ain't going to lie to y'all. It is what it is. Oh, yeah, by the way, EJ losing streak ended with all the wagers, right? He actually finally won a wager and he actually bet on the guy that was trolling him the most iq contain it's where that <laughs> that's where iq contain took him out of his losing streak but anyways we got a few conversations to be had and it's mainly talking about jump shots because i see some people have a problem with the current jump shot system now paul df tweeted this out he said a popular opinion some whites going in is better than all greens going in on 2k greens used to be special now it's just what it means to make a shot now this is an argument i made last year when everyone was screaming the problem of, about whites and let me tell you all something how 2k finesse the system how mike wayne is genius to just shut you all up with this whites because i was like bro it ain't about whites bro and you know the game let you hit full bars and it turned full bar well timed shots into whites so it's not necessarily about whites it's about open shots versus contested that was my biggest issue contested shots going in but of course the community don't care and they was like oh it's all about whites i hate to see whites i hate to see whites so all the 2k devs had to do was make whites into green simple and it will shut everybody up and that's exactly what they did so now there's no special feeling towards hitting the green necessarily it's just once you make a shot it's a green it's understood right so uh let me ask you all a question before we continue anyone y'all are y'all shooting at a lower percentage than last year i bet the answer is no that's because they didn't really change anything but just the white window turned into a green again again an argument i made was bro a lot of times i'm full barring out here and it's turning into a white so it's not necessarily i miss time in my shot it's 2k now rewarding me for my well-timed shots but let me know what y'all think about that argument again now our next argument i've been seeing and this is from badgy plug he tweeted this out and a lot of people agree with this. He said 491 different shot speed timing for no reason is by far the worst thing about NBA 2K23. Now, the thing with this is, and we're talking about the variations with the shot. Um, the difference with shooting in 2K23 from pretty much most of other 2K is that you really have to watch the animation on each shot because a lot of things change how fast your shot is or how quick your, your release um, is gonna come off, right? One is shot, shot contest, two is position. I think corner shots are different from at the top, is different from hash. Like a lot of variations, deep shots are different from closer shots. A lot of different things affect the timing of your jump shot in NBA 2K23. Now, because of that, you have to keep your eyes on the game. It's not like previous 2Ks, even in 2K21 and 22, you know it's certain different spots is faster, but at least you know it's limited to these areas, right? But in this game, bro, it's so random sometimes, it's crazy. And to me, 
that add the skill gap that a lot of people was complaining about a lot of people been begging for for the past few years so now it's not based on just you know you could just get the timing down and you know this one timing no it's all based on your scenario including how much energy you got on your play and one thing i noticed as well is even if your bar drains all the way down and it fills all the way back up your jump shot does not return to the default timing at all it still acts as if your bar is low which is where to me 2k i think you all might have to take a look at it and i'm noticing this across the players now someone actually responded and said it has a reason stop people from using zen now this is a reason why 2k started to look into different shot timing based on position and based on scenarios well i agree because remember zen's was a huge problem in nba 2k 2020 and going back right 20 and going back and a lot of people didn't know but of course it came on the forefront in nba 2k 21 early and then they start making some changes now one of my biggest problems, believe it or not, and a lot of people might like this, one of my biggest problems is too much jump shot variations based on height and shot timing. So someone like me who got 9 bills or 10 bills plus, don't judge me, okay? I just love playing different ways. Someone like me with all these bills, damn near most of my bills have different jump shots. And I am sh currently shooting about 50 something percent from 3. Now, if, and I ain't gonna front with y'all, if I was able to use one jump shot across all bills, it would make my life so much easier. I don't have to adjust based on every other player I go on to. And I know that's just for me, that's, that's just selfish reasons because this, this happened in since 2k maybe 2k 18 or 19 when the bigs was using that lamarcus aldridge and it was such a fast jump shot and people start complaining how why do bigs have quick jump shots 2k why we don't see no bigs in the league shooting fast now since then the nba had changed the nba changed now you see in bigs right now with that quick release so why 2k just don't allow us to just use whatever jump shot we need on whatever size of bill we want to just to make my life easier that's just me and you see the thing the difference between me and most other people i could admit when i'm being selfish <laughs> i just want it for me i ain't gonna lie to y'all i like to play with multiple bills and one of the most annoying things for me personally it's just switching multiple jump shots on these bills because of the restrictions and requirements needed for these jump shots. And it doesn't mean that the jump the bills with higher three-point ratings got the best jump shot necessarily. Because I would use O'Shea Brissett on most of my bills if I could, to be honest with y'all. And you could use that jump shot on bigs. The problem is when I get down short of bill, I can't use it and I can't find it. Again, when you have these restrictions with the shorter jump shot with the highest rate does not necessarily mean you have the better jump shot. It could be you shooting because you got a higher three-point rating. Anyways, y'all, just a little jump shot conversation. Let me know your thoughts on all of these subjects. Don't forget, the first subject is the, the whites going in. Is that a huge problem for you or do you prefer this system where only greens go in? In my opinion, all they did was make the white window a green window and that's it so all we've seen is greens right now if you see white it's so red it's crazy but they did that on purpose you know they got put in the algorithm so, so you see you can see whites is still out there somewhere the next thing is the different jump shot variation do you think this is an issue in 2k me personally not necessarily because you got certain people like my guy gambit who pretty much mastered it he knows the contest shot timing he knows his position timing he knows all that and to me that adds a different like skill level and we always asking for their skill gap and that's how they put it in the shooting although i'm still shooting pretty much close to the same um percentage or might be even better this year and last but not least for me personally with my selfish reasons the variation based on height and ratings man get it out the game man get y'all let it go man bigs is lighting it up right now in the nba with these quick releases man stop it <laughs>
No, that's the selfish part. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm saying I'm being selfish. Anyways, y'all, that's all I got for y'all. Let me know what y'all think. Let's start the conversation below. You know I like having these back and forth. You know it's all love. I hope that's one till next time. Be safe out there. And if y'all getting jump shot problems, right, issues, check out NBA 2K Labs Premium Service and use the code BRUTALSIM for 20% off, man. They got a lot of data out there on jump shots, man. Hopefully that help you all out as well. And y'all can check out my tutorial playlist. I got a bunch of jump shots because I know we got restrictions based on height and ratings. Yes. Anyways, y'all have a blessed one. Till next time, be safe out there, y'all. Peace.